Hey everybody, Anthony Trucks here with Trucks Training. Uh, I have uh, kind of gotten to the point where I want to ease back in to get myself more active on the videos and more kind of consistent with the community. So um, I want to get in with one question that was posed to me recently, which gets posed by every single day when I'm in here. And what makes you different from, say, my coaches, you know, or my son's coach or my, you know, that actually takes us out to the field and does cones or someone does like ladder work and that kind of stuff. The biggest difference for us is the brain. We're smart about us. Um, I get really frustrated when I consistently hear, oh, well, they do something like you. What we do is so much vastly different because of the concept of the brain that we utilize. Anybody, anyone can put cones out, can put ladders out, can put tires out, whatever you choose to put out, and make you run around doing a million of these different things and get you tired. But there's no development to it. There's none whatsoever. It's simply saying, we're doing stuff. Most of the time when I ask a coach, when I confer with them about what they're doing, hey, why do you do it that way? There's no answer for me. If you don't believe me, go ask the coach. Say, coach, why? And then from the next point, if they give you some convoluted answer, have them explain it to a scientific base. What's the concept for development in this room? Why do we progress our athletes to agility this way? How should the foot go and why? What's the biomechanical angle of the foot in, in relation to the knee and the hips and why when I come back out, should I drive a certain way? What's the correct angle when I'm running? How should the hips move? How should the toe move? How should the arms be? Ask those specific questions because if they can answer them, good job. Odds are what I've found is they usually lax. So people say, oh, well, you guys are kind of expensive a little bit more. We're really not that expensive compared to the people that I have trained myself with. When I played in the NFL, I paid people $3,000 a week to train myself. Compared to what we charge here, not even close. The truth of the matter is we do more because we are better. We chose not to be a cheap person just kind of put stuff out and get somebody tired. If you want your kid to be tired, by all means, you can find anybody you want and get them tired. That's fine. If you want them to develop, to be better, the goal is to understand what they're doing over time with their bodies, which is where we take a step back and say, we don't want to be cheap, we want to be great. I want to provide the best service I can, period, not just because we have a gym to do it, but because that's what people should be getting. If I'm dealing with someone's kid or their body, it's not a toy. It's just truly something that can be damaged. And if I damage it, there's no way to fix it sometimes. The goal is to prevent injury by creating a better athlete soundly with science based behind it from an understanding of physiology, understanding of biomechanics, of anatomy, of how to develop and change phases to go from a, a phase where I'm gonna be maybe developing some lean muscle mass, then maybe going over to where I'm gonna develop some strength, then create some more power, which relates to speed, agility, plyometric strength for jumping, whatever you choose to do. But the goal is knowing that we don't just simply make things up. Um, some people think that we, uh, we compete with them in some senses, like, oh, he's, he's competition for what we choose to do, and my coach is here. In no way are we competition, because nobody does what we do. Nobody marries the two of knowledge and actual application the way we do. And here's how I can say that I know we do this. We spend thousands of dollars and hours and hours of our time learning. Some people wake up in the morning, they're construction workers, pg &E workers, happen to have coached or played something, all fine and well. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is read articles. I watch videos. I am all day, every day, and my coaches well, strength coaches. And we choose to say, this is our primary base of what we do as a career. Not a side job, not something I want to do with this little bit of time, which is going to be me being free and bored. This is what we choose to do because the world needs this. If you go to the East Coast, there are companies like this everywhere because they understand if they want to compete with the athletes over here where we're at, they got to develop their athletes the right way. You start reading and branching out, you'll find out that you don't want to just do something to do it. You want to do it the right way. So Truck train does things the right way. I wake up in the morning, I can go to sleep, and wake up every day knowing I look myself in the mirror, know I'm doing a great job because whether or not you understand it, there's so much more that goes on behind the scenes that we are doing every day to provide the best service we can so that when our athletes come back here, they give us the great stories of, my son's a different person. My son or my daughter has been a, a way better athlete. Their confidence is better. Their ability is better. That stuff's not like it just happens overnight randomly. We do a lot of testing and designing and creating on the backside to be able to come in and do something that may look the same, but it's different. What I tell people is, yes, you may have the same uh, ingredients, some of the same stuff, but our recipe is different. How it's designed is different. The method behind the madness is so different that when I sit coaches down and talk to them, they usually get lost. Not because I'm special and great, because I take such a pride in what I choose to do that we actually are better in certain areas, which is why we've still been around for so long. Not being a flashy marketing company. There's not a million things and flyers and different people in people's faces just bothering you. We do a good job so every day when our athletes leave, other people see those athletes, they come back saying, hey, I want to do whatever that athlete did or that person did because they did a great job and I want to be part of that. So, if you have any questions on this, which I, I really hope people do, because I got a lot I can talk about, I'll put a lot of stuff out, shoot me any kind of message on the comment section here. You can, uh, you can send me a private message and I'll answer it on video and send it back to you. Whatever you want. If you want to test and say, hey, he's talking a whole lot, does he really know that stuff? 
Ask me the most in-depth, convoluted question you can, and I will get back to you immediately, because my goal is for you to understand that we do know what we're doing, and when I do say that, I actually am taking time to build it in. Thank you for your time. Anthony Trucks with Trucks Training.